guys, it's Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Welcome to another video, but this one is not going to be a decorating video. We are going to be cooking today, and I am collaborating with my beautiful daughter, Megan. If you've seen, we've cooked a couple times on this channel, and then she's been doing some learn to cook videos. So, or learn, yeah, yeah, basically her just wanting to learn how to cook a little more. So thought we would share it with you guys. You know, there's a lot of people out there maybe don't know how to cook. We're picking very pretty easy yeah. recipes right now while she's learning. For me. And you know, we just have fun. Yeah. So today we are making, what are we making? What's the name of it? So we are making Caesar pasta salad today. So seems very easy. So probably the first thing we'll do is start boiling this because okay. everything else I think comes very easily. We are making like a homemade Caesar dressing. We're not using anchovies. I know a lot of Caesar dressings have anchovies, but it's not what the Caesar dressing has. So. Not our Caesar dressing. <laughs> um, so we'll, but we'll have the recipe. Was it a recipe or an Instagram? I don't know. We'll have it linked down below. This right? one's an Instagram reel. So Sometimes I get my inspiration for recipes that I want to try from Instagram she Reels. Does, she sends me a million. <laughs> I like wake up in the morning and there's a million different recipes. So this so. specific one was, so you can link that down below. Right. And then the only other thing I'm going to do, because there is no meat in this, I'm going, I have a couple of chicken breasts that I'm just going to like chop up and saute in a little bit of olive oil and garlic, salt, pepper, just some seasonings, just so that you can add it to the pasta salad. If you want to add that protein, that makes it like a complete meal. That makes it your carb, your vegetables, and your protein. Have it so, all. Yep. So, oh, and yes. on my channel, yes. we are making oh, yeah. dessert. So, when you're done with this video, you can head to my channel. And we made red velvet brownies. Yep. We determined. We will see how they come out. They are still in the oven. Yeah. Looked a little scary. There was apple cider vinegar in the recipe, and so that scared us a little. So you'll have to watch my video to see how it turns out. Yes, because we have never made red velvet anything. We like no, red velvet, no, but we've never yeah. made it. So I don't know if that's like a normal thing, but anyways. I definitely don't know. Also, let's address the elephant in the room, yes. as Megan said on her video, and I thought she was talking about me. Like <laughs> I was the elephant in the room. But she's gonna tell you what she has to say. I'll tell you my elephant in the room. <laughs> me. <laughs> um, so I just got eye surgery a week ago, PRK eye surgery, which is kind of like LASIK. So it's not anything serious or anything, but I can't see very well. Well, you can see. I can see fine, like, like in real life, I guess, but the lights and stuff is still a little bit much for me. So if I'm not looking in the right place for the camera, I'm very sorry. And also if I'm like never in frame or something, <laughs> it's because I literally can't see. Um, it's just because there's a huge ring light and all of these lights, it has like a halo effect, which they said was normal. It's not like an issue that right. happened from the surgery or anything. That's completely normal, but still a week post-op. So I'm still a little the lights, it literally, like everything looks foggy right now. She's so. a little blinded. It's and fine. I couldn't wear makeup, so I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. We can address the other elephant in the room. I chopped all my hair. Yeah. Off. It looks like so this little. Yeah, so her hair is all done, and then look at mine. Little, I didn't do anything with mine. Little A line bob thing going on. So, anyways, it. we are going to get started. We'll start by boil. We'll just get the water going for this to boil, and then we just literally make the dressing. We chop the salad. The salad goes with the dressing, the... Bada bing, bada boom. So the other thing it called for on the actual recipe was like large bread crumbs that you add in kind of like croutons. But I figured we are gonna put our own little twist on it and we're just gonna like crush up some of these actual croutons and put it in there because it gives it some more flavor. These are like Caesar flavored croutons. So that's our own little twist. A little we're twist on, on the recipe. So. That's it. So let's get this let's get started. pasta boiling and then we will get on with the rest. Okay, so in here we did a tablespoon of capers that we like just used Wait, a that fork. Wasn't even going I don't that. know okay. that we crushed up with a fork, and then we did mayo, uh, three quarters of a cup of mayo. Lemon. We did a, 
a couple ten or so cloves of garlic, very small cloves, and then a tablespoon of the Dijon. We'll mix that up. Now what's next? A tablespoon of this. And then a tablespoon of soy sauce. Yeah, you can put that whole tablespoon of that. Whoops. That's I'll okay. Kind of it's okay. A little extra never hurt anybody. One a half cup of freshly grated parm. Oh. In this or does that go in like Yeah, it says in the dressing. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. You could turn that down so it doesn't boil over. Grab that slotted spoon and just give it a mix. Yep. Give her a mix. Good job. Now we're going to put three quarters of a cup of freshly grated parm yep, in the dressing. And we're not measuring. We're just doing it. The more the merrier. Yep. Kind of like garlic. Garlic and parm, they go together. <laughs> Ooh. Mm, that looks good. Actually, it's probably good. It's like a... Then what, sous chef? Salt and pepper to taste. Okay, yeah. so tell me when to stop. Doesn't need too much salt oh. because. Good. add a little bit of water to this dressing just to thin it out a little bit and then I guess it showed them pulling a little bit out in case you wanted to drizzle more on top so we'll just take a little bit out and um, save it in case we need it for on top Beat them with this. So now I'm going to crush up the breadcrumbs. We're using croutons, our own little twist on it. Um, do I do the whole bag? No, I would say like. Now I will beat them with a stick in frame. <laughs> How much do I, just like lightly? Like pretty that. good. Pretty, oh, uh, you pretty want good a amount. Yeah, because they just call for breadcrumbs, so. This is my kind of cooking. Take out all your frustration. Now I'm just going to chop up the chicken into little pieces so that we can just saute them. They won't take long, but we can add them to this pasta salad. Or we, you can. Like, I'll probably leave it on the side in case you don't want to add it. Unless you, you can have chicken. If it's fried. I'm not gonna leave chicken raw. I can guarantee you that one. Oof, it's gross. It's chicken. Garlic powder. Ooh, Whoa. Good. Okay, so while mom is cooking the chicken, I am going to add the pasta to the, uh, whatever it's called, dressing. <laughs> hey, this is a good amount. Mm -hmm. Like, we'll definitely have leftovers. You can mix that around. Now I am going to mix it around. <laughs> mm. This Okay, now I'm thinking when we add the lettuce, it's gonna overflow, but. We I'm, have a little bit more lettuce than I thought we were going to need, so. Now I'm going to add the lettuce. Mm. Oh, there you go. Is that all of it? Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. 
and I will stir. That's what I'm best at. And then the red crumbs or croutons in this instance. Okay. And then what else? Was there anything else? More parm? More parm. Was there more pepper? Oh yeah, parm and pepper. Chicken season salad. Or palm, please. More palm. A, a lot, but just keep loading it on, girl. <laughs> you can't have enough palm, literally. Fresh palm, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I would, like, spoon that into my oh, too. You know when you go to the Olive Garden, <laughs> and they're like, would you like some palm? Tell me when to stop. Megan sits there till it's, like, a mound about this, and she's like, okay, stop. And then she wouldn't yeah, want Yeah, I don't to want stop. them she to stop. <laughs> I just feel bad. I start to feel like guilty because they're like. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Sorry. Okay. Hi. Hi. Booters. Okay, so here is our finished product. So now we're gonna taste it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? See how it goes. Gotta get some lettuce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes like a Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. It does. I like the pasta in it though. Yeah. It gives it a little bit more heartiness. And from the chicken. Mmm. Oh, it's good. I like it. I feel like if you like Caesar salad, you can't go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Like it literally just tastes like a Caesar salad. Yep. I think it's very good. Well, this was a success. This was really good. And it was pretty easy too. Uh -huh. I mean, it's hard when we're moving the camera a thousand angles, but otherwise it was pretty easy. Like it was an easy meal. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out Megan's video for our dessert, dessert. our special dessert that we haven't tried yet, so hopefully it'll be good. We'll be trying them on Megan's video. So I'm gonna have her video linked down below. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoy. Give Megan a follow. If you haven't subscribed to her, or, uh, subscribe to Megan. Whatever, Same if you thing. haven't, <laughs> If you haven't subscribed yet, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can trust I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more